हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई आदि मैम वेलकम यू ऑल टू येट इन सेशन ऑफ इंग्लिश ऑनलाइन क्लास टुडे द टॉपिक ऑफ ऑनलाइन क्लास इज ग्रामर दैट इज वी आर टेकिंग द डिटरमाइनर्स एंड डिस्कसिंग इट ऑन द होल व्हाट आर डिटरमाइनर्स व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ डिटरमाइनर्स हाउ आर दे यूज इन दिस सेशन वी विल कम अक्रॉस ऑल दीज क्वेश्चन एंड देयर आंसर्स नाउ लेट एस स्टार्ट द सेशन what is a determiner simply put in english a determiner is a word that introduces a noun it always comes before a noun not after and it also comes before any other adjective used to describe the noun determiners are required before a singular noun but are optional when it comes to the introduce introduction of plural nouns for example consider the placement and usage of the common determiner there in the sentences below the bunny went home i ate the chocolate cookie for dessert metal cans are recyclable recyclable the metal cans are recyclable in every example the determiners is placed before the noun and the noun phrase regardless of whether the noun is a subject or predicate in the first example it comes directly before the noun but in the second example it comes before the adjective that is chocolate that describe the noun that is cookie note also that is the third example there is no determiner as determiners are optional for the plural nouns and noun phrases when you want to discuss the noun in general that is all metals cans you cannot and you don't need a determiner for the plural nouns or noun phrases however the fourth example shows that you may add a determiner to re refer to the specific noun that is the metal cans right there the again na bachcho there are four different types of determiners in english article demonstratives quantifiers and possessives articles now let us read about the articles articles are among the most common form of the determiners they are three singular articles a and and the articles specify or determine which noun the speaker is referring to a and an are indefinite articles and are used when you are talking about a general vision of the noun or general version of the noun for example a dog is a good pet an ostrich would beat a chicken in a race in these example the sentences is talk about the dog or the ostrich in general meaning any dog or any ostrich when you are your meaning in general use an indefinite article note that a is used before words that begins with consonants while an is used before the words beginning with vowels on the other hand the is definite article means the speaker is referring to the specific noun for example when we went to the best restaurant in town the dog is barking too loudly it is a specific kind of restaurant and the dog is specific here the speaker is referring to a particular dog and a particular restaurant it's not a general category but only one animal or place that's important when your meaning is specific use a definite article okay what about the demonstratives demonstratives pronoun are also used as determiners in english there are four types of them 
this, that, these and those. Demonstratives are used in a situation in which the speaker can point to the item they mean, making uh, them even more specific than a definite article. For example, do you want this piece of chicken? I don't want to go to that movie. These black raspberries are so. He wanted those boys to go away. This and these refer to the items nearby. That and those refer to the items far away. Note, all this, uh, all that, this and that are singular uh, while uh, these and those are plural. Okay, now let us come to the quantifiers. Quantifiers hmm. What are quantifiers? Quantifiers are the determiners that indicate how much or how little of the noun is being discussed. They include words such as few and many. For example, he took all the books or it is numeric in the sense that all the books are taken. He, uh, she liked all deserts equally all. Now it is also quantifying. Few children like lima beans. So the cafeteria stops serving them. Few. Many kittens are taught to haunt by their mothers. Hunt. Uh, many. Note that all can be used with other determiners to specify which particular items are meant. That is all the books in the pile. In this case, the quantifier always comes before the article or demonstrator. It's also possible to use all the alone to refer to the items generally as in the second example. Possessives. When referring to the nouns that belong to someone or something, you can use possessive pronouns to show their ownership or their entitlement. Possessive pronouns include my, your, his, her, its, our and their. For example, there is your car. The dog growled and showed its teeth. Its teeth. My best friend is a cat. My. Which one is his house? His. Honesty is her best quality. Her. The tree shed its slave. Its. It's our secret recipe. Its. As always, the determiners comes before the noun and any modified adjective. In English, you can use the same possessive whether the noun it refers to is singular or plural. Using determiners correctly is, is a must in English. So, how should you choose which determiner to use? For native English speakers, determining which determiners to use is relatively simple. Fine. Determining which determiners to use is second nature since determiners are so often used in the front of the nouns. For people learning English as a second language, it's helpful to remember few rules. And what are the few rules? Let, a, let us recapitulate it uh, first. Determiners always comes first in the noun phrase. Second, determiners are required with singular nouns. Third, to speak about a singular noun generally, use an indefinite article, a or am. To speak about a plural generally, noun generally, do not use a determiner. To speak about a singular noun specifically, use a definite article, demonstrative pronoun, possessive pronoun or quantifier. To speak about a plural noun uh, specifically, use a definite article, demonstrative pronoun or 
to possess a pronoun or quantifiers. Once you learn the dictionary definition of each determiner as you study English vocabulary, it becomes easy to select the determiners that best express your meaning, whether you want to show your ownership or quantity or relative location. Okay, now let us see a chart which will include all the determiners which are being discussed above. Let us see this chart, determiners, definition, a word placed before a noun to provide information such as quantity, ownership and specific, spe, specificity, examples, articles, a and the, a dog owns nothing yet, is seldom de dissatisfied, a, de, uh, demonstrative, this, that, these, those, you cannot control this dog, Possessive, my, you, your, his, their, host, your guests, and also his dog. Quantifiers, few, some, six, no. It is, it can be numeric or it can be uh, how much it is or few or some or these can be used and no is also used. When two dogs fight over a bone, the third carries it away. So this was all about the determiners hope you have understood it well